both sides of the ball for the third scrimmage. We we made it um, with what guys should be able to execute. Um, probably wasn't near as many mental errors probably as we've had in previous uh, practices. So uh, not a, not any guys turning pressures loose or receivers not running the correct route. So we gave the offense a little, a little better opportunity to have some success. Um, no, I think we, we've really got to shore up our offensive line up front. Um, we need to play with a little lower pad level. Uh, we've got to be able to run the football to have success in this league. Um, and we've got to play with a little better, a little better body angles. You know, we've got some guys who didn't participate today. Uh, we've got some guys that are coming in. So we've got to create a lot of competition uh, up front. We need to improve in that area. Um, you know, same thing with the tight end position. We've got to, we've got to get some guys that uh, can win in the C area, can flex out and, and beat safeties and linebackers. Uh, we've got to create some depth there. Um, you know, from the quarterback position, I felt like that, you know, we probably looked at the rush a little bit too much there early on, held the ball, all of them. Uh, you know, it's 100% if you don't leave the, the ball in the field of play, uh, you're not going to catch it. So a couple of times we had some one-on-one -on -one shots down the field early on that we threw the ball out of bounds. And we don't need to do that because we've got some playmakers at wide receiver. We need to keep the ball in play. Um, but I thought as the ones went, um, they started taking a little bit of what they were getting, um, you know, checking the ball down, uh, spreading the ball around a little bit. So um, that was positive. You know, uh, defensively, the ones did not get any turnovers. Uh, you know, and hey, up front, I don't know how many sacks there were. Um, and there's probably a couple of times I didn't blow it down, you know, to give the offense an opportunity to move on. But um, we've got to develop some pass rush. We got to get guys that don't give up ones for ones up front. We got to create some depth uh, in the back end. Uh, we we need to be a ball hawking defense. I think we got guys back there that can do that. Uh, the twos cause some turnovers, which help them. Um, so um, that that was good. We see some of these young guys do that. We, got, we played a lot of guys today, and there's a lot more competition. That's the way it's been all spring. Um, you know, we'll we'll get some guys back that are. You know that have been injured, and uh, we'll, we'll add the guys that are coming in with this signing class, and we'll have some good competition this summer and in fall camp. And we need it. We need to. We need to create depth um, on both sides of the ball. I thought one of the positives today was the young guys catching punts in the back end. You know, um, for the last two years, Mark West Callaway has handled almost every um, punt. I know we had one bobbled one, uh, but I thought the guys made good decisions uh, for the first time out there, and there's a crowd out there. So, you know, I thought it was a really good atmosphere out there today. Uh, we have a lot going on this weekend uh, with um, the baseball team, softball team, track, uh, orange and white. It's been a great atmosphere all weekend for the university. Uh, lots of positive vibes. Uh, you know, you can feel our fan base. and. Uh, there's lots of energy out there today, so uh, I thought it was a it was an overall good day. Jimmy then Steve.